and the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Great! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, and they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Big all punch land. Now let's get back to range. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, single collar tie here. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Close guard. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice straight punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right under the elbow, the body kick land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch from the clinch. Take it to the ground. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Checks that leg kick. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Right hand punch from the clinch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Cut the kick. Oh, collar tie. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target.
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just out of range with that strike. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that one of the body works will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Look at him over there. It's like a piece of meat. He's beat up. Let's go out there and look for the finish. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Right. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Good punch land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Beautiful kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Pretty good right hand. Oh. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. When you're in the clinch, you are the master of the transition. Nice scramble. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big body kick lands. Nice. Oh, big head kick. A huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Loaded up on that right hand, too. And they separate. Big kick lands. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. 
Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Beautiful punch. That Ooh, knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Hands up, hands up. That was Andy Clean. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the girl. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockouts.